From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Thursday, July 14th, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. A trial date has been set for a New York man who was charged in connection with the death of three people in 2020. Arnson Absolu is facing three counts of first-degree murder in connection with the deaths of Ashley Nagy, Charles Red Willow, and Dakota Zeiser. Absolu's trial will begin on January 9th of 2023. He's scheduled to appear in court for a motions hearing in September. Rapid City Regional Airport is looking into changing the way it's run. Chrissy Davies has the details. Rapid City Regional Airport officials have decided to hire some outside help to help them look at their governance model. The board currently operates under a city model and functions as a department of city government with a board of directors. Their structure was examined internally a few times in the past, but mitigating factors have prevented the work from being completed. A group out of Albany, New York, will provide the study expected to be complete within two years. Airport Executive Director Patrick Damefield it's important to look at the governance structure as the region grows. Officials in Pennington County and Ogallala Tribal Police are looking for a one-year-old who was last seen on July 4th. According to the Ogallala Sioux Tribe Department of Public Safety, Leland Poor Thunder was last seen when he was visiting his non-custodial mother, Haley Shea Lakota, in Rapid City. The boy and his mother have not been seen since. Those with information are asked to call police or the Oglala Dispatch at 605-867-5111. In national and international news, President Joe Biden and Israel's Prime Minister Yair Lapid discussed Iran's rapidly progressing nuclear program and the Israeli leader vowed that Tehran would never become a nuclear power. Their one-on-one talks Thursday were the centerpiece of a 48-hour visit by the U.S. president aimed at strengthening already tight relations between the U.S. and Israel. The leaders also signed a joint declaration emphasizing military cooperation and a joint commitment to preventing Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. Biden said he spoke to Lapid about the importance of Israel becoming totally integrated in the region. Here's the latest on the war in Ukraine. Ukrainian officials say Russian missiles that struck a city in central Ukraine killed at least 20 people and wounded about 90. Ukraine's National Police said three missiles hit an office building and damaged residential buildings in Vinnytsia on Thursday. The city is 167 miles southwest of the capital of Kyiv. The missile strike ignited a fire that expanded to engulf 50 cars in an adjacent parking lot. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said a child was among the dead. He called the attack an open act of terrorism against civilians in locations without military value. Meanwhile, government officials from about 40 countries met in The Hague to discuss coordinating their investigations of potential war crimes in Ukraine. New video shows a frustrating response by police in the Uvalde school shooting. Chrissy Davies has the details. Newly released video of a hallway outside classrooms at a Texas elementary school where a gunman killed 19 children and two teachers is renewing questions about police accountability. Nearly 80 minutes of surveillance video from Robb Elementary School on May 24th show heavily armed police officers lingering in the hallway for more than an hour before confronting the gunman. Some of all residents at a city council meeting Tuesday shouted questions about whether officers on the scene were still on the payroll after the video was made public. Local and state officials have urged to let investigations play out. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. A mix of sun and clouds and a stray thunderstorm is possible today with a high of 95. Low tonight, 68. And that was your Daily Slice for Thursday, July 14th, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Chrissy Davies and Amy Rose. Executive producer Mark Houston. Engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.